Cause I'm the data guy, making bytes fly high, diving deep into the data, reaching for the sky, from ETLs to data lakes and pipelines that don't break. Tune in, hang on, and let's make data great. Hey y'all, data guy here, and today I got a video for you on how you can use MongoDB, which is a great database for you know venture-driven apps powering the back end of applications with Airflow. Um, so a lot of times, you know, what people will do is they'll use Airflow to kind of orchestrate the movement, um, maybe batch data before uploading it into MongoDB um, from their uh, application, or maybe they have a flow where, you know, hey, user triggers an action, Airflow enriches that action with user information and then puts it into MongoDB or runs some transformations on data once it arrives in MongoDB. So there's a whole wide world of use cases out there of, you know, how you can use MongoDB and Airflow together. Um, and so what I want to focus on today is just, hey, how... Can you connect to MongoDB with Airflow? What is the setup process? Um, so I'll show you everything you need to do um, to get started with using Airflow MongoDB um, together. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is get a MongoDB account um, and they do free trials with their Atlas, which is like kind of just a uh, shared cluster for all their users. So don't put any sensitive data on here, but uh, it's just you know good for testing around. Um, and so I've actually already done that. And so I have uh, my database deployment, if you don't already have a database, you'll just create one here. Um, you know, as long as you stay underneath uh, half a gigabyte of data size, you'll totally fine. Um, and so now that you've kind of got the Mongo stuff out of the way, um, not super complicated, you know, just, just standard sign up and uh, database creation, I'll kick it over to Airflow and VS Code and show you how we'll uh, go about connecting it and managing. Um, and just one more thing you'll want to note here is you will want to um, have a database user that you can use. This is how we'll actually authenticate into uh, MongoDB. Um, and then also on the allow list for your project um, on security network access, I just have it open to everything. Um, but if it's you don't want to open everything, just put your local um, public IP address on the computer you want to connect to. Um, and then obviously, you know, this is how you would connect to in production is by authenticating that um, particular application. Um, so now we'll actually switch over to VS Code and start writing the Airflow portion. So here I just have a fresh Airflow directory. Um, and the only thing you need to actually install um, to use Mongo is just add the uh, Mongo providers package into um, your requirements file. I'm gonna not version lock it because I think this would be an updated version for 2.7. Um, and then you can just start your uh, Airflow environment like normal. So if you know, just restart it to uh, download the package. Um, so after that, I'm gonna start my Airflow environment and kick it over into the actual UI there um, to show you how to set up a Mongo connection. Now here within the Airflow UI, um, we're gonna set up our Mongo connection. Um, so luckily Mongo has its own connection. Um, so it's not super hard or connection type. So it's not super hard to actually set up. Um, so we'll just select MongoDB um, and then we're gonna have our connection ID, um, which is going to be Mongo default. Um, and then what we'll need is our uh, MongoDB Atlas host name. Um, and so what that's going to be is if I go back to um, my database um, and select, where is it? Connect to it. Um, you'll go into drivers and this will give you the connection details you need. Um, so I'm not gonna expose my connection um, URL here, but it's going to look something like so it's going to be your cluster name, then your, or your database name, really, um, then your account name. So it's just going to be like five or six letters. Um, and then what you'll put in for your uh, login and username um, are the credentials for that database user I uh, mentioned earlier um, within the Mongo UI. Um, so for me, it is going to be, um, I believe, what is it? Double check it real quick. Um, database access Mongo GY8. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Um, and then I do know my password, luckily. Um, and that should be, oh, and then also your need to add um, serve.gru. This is just saying it's authenticating to it through a service. Um, and so this will allow you to connect to your Mongo um, database. Um, I'm gonna update this obviously with my real connection details, um, but yeah, that is pretty, pretty simple. Um, so now that we've gotten this, we're also as part of this DAG that we're gonna create, um, use an HTTP connection um, to just query some data so you don't have to bother downloading any data if you wanna follow along. Um, so we're just gonna call this HTTP default. So it is defaulted to for by the HTTP operator um, and then uh, where is it? HTTP type. And then here, we're not going to 
admin of the host. Um, the only host information we need is just an API on Frankfurter information. So just save the host here, save it. Um, and then this will just allow us to be able to see in the DAG to connect and just pull some data um, for us to upload into Mongo, just like you might do in a typical workflow, um, you know, collecting data from your application and then bringing in a Mongo um, for storage. Um, it's actually how, how applications work. You know, everything's just data passing between databases and, and state changes, right? Um, so now if we kick it back over into um, VS Code, we can start writing our DAG. Uh, so what we'll do is go into the DAG folder, create a new file called Mongo uh, pipeline .py, um, And then within this file, we'll just import um, some imports. So JSON, uh, DAG task decorators, HTTP operator, Mongo hook, um, so we can you know, go into Mongo and perform operations. Um, and then what we'll do is add DAG, uh, declare uh, load data into MongoDB. Um, none of that really matters other than default retries to zero. Um, and then what we'll do is, actually I'll set this to two because I think this is gonna actually fail the uh, DAG integrity tester. Um, so here we're gonna have a simple HTTP operator and this is just getting um, current information on the Frankfurt uh from this api endpoint uh, returning it as a json and then do xcom push just pushing it um the data into the xcom so that we can consume it in our next mongo task um so then our, our mongo task we're actually going to need to declare this um as a python task um so mongo doesn't have a um what do you call it a sorry a First class operator doesn't have a provider package. It does have a hook. So that's kind of how you will hook in your MongoDB um, and then you know, perform your operation that way. But it's just a little more setup. So you see here um, within this task, we're going to you know, leverage our connection ID uh, stored within, we just created in the Airflow UI. And then we're going to use that to create a Mongo hook, hook into our Mongo. Um, and then, you know, MyDB is just saying, you know, the basic default database. You change that to whatever your default database is. Um, and then what we're doing here is you can see currency collection. Um, we are creating DB dot currency um, collection that'll become um, the way that we switch it over to use the currency collection um, table. So this is you know hey now we've created a client that is going to um, use currency collection, so a separate database or under our, our table under our database. Um, then it's going to you know print hey it's connected to MongoDB verify, and this is just a step to actually verify that, you know, did connect to MongoDB. Um, so just for troubleshooting here, then what we'll do is just JSON loads of um, this simple HTTP operator. Um, so whatever the result is, and we'll connect that in a second, when we do the bit mapping um, to actually read result. And that's the variable that's being read in here is the result from this uh, HTTP operation. Um, then we're just inserting um, that JSON uh, loaded file, which into our Mongo database. Um, so since Mongo uses JSON style documents, this is how we'll insert data. So you don't need to convert it into another format there. Um, and then, so the next step that kind of makes uh, the results make sense is we'll add our bit mapping and you know, declare our DAG. Um, so here in upload Mongo, we'll take result equals t1.output. So we're just reading the task output and that's how we're doing the .xcom push there. Um, to upload it into Mongo. Um, and so that is kind of our test tag here. Um, and so now we've got that, let's switch over to Airflow UI and we'll just take a look at this. So here back in the Airflow UI, if we go into load data to MongoDB, um, we can see it running successfully. So first time in a while, I've gotten it done on the first try. Um, so here we got get currency, um, where it's just getting the currency. And what we can do is actually look at um, the task details here. So you can see the XCOM, um, it's returning all these currency values um, into the XCOM database. Um, so you might want to use the back end XCOM database for this uh, if you're you know, kind of doing the state of passing in production, uh, but we're just testing around, so it's fine. And then if we look at MongoDB, so you can see we were connected. Um, you can see our value um, was, you know, you can see kind of all the connection details there. Um, and then if we go over into Mongo, we can see our MyDB that we just created, uh, as well as our currency collection with the JSON um, document, just uh, introducing some of the uh, different currency objects we collected. So you can see we have all these different fun objects um, in this super, super readable JSON style format. Um, I don't love JSON, but uh, I am starting to do some front end development of my own. Um, and so 
uh, or application development. And so JSON is becoming more of a part of my life and I'm learning to love the bomb, as they say. Um, so anyways, this is how you interact with MongoDB um, from Airflow. Uh, so it's a little non-standard, so I wanted to make a video on it, show you all how to do it. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, helps me out a lot. And uh, without further ado, data guy out. Peace.